Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new safe hour. We are continuing on with passing through every single character in a row. I've not actually done this in a really long time where I've just played all the characters like continuously like this. It's kind of weird. Uh, but we are jumping in and seeing what we can get done. Um, ooh, one moment, one moment. Before I do, I just need to do something really quickly. Okay, we are continuing. Sorry, I had my Steam Overlay turned on, and I've noticed the Steam Overlay tends to uh, make Isaac a little bit more laggy when you're playing with mods and stuff, so I just turned that off real quick. <clears throat> Hopefully it helps out a little bit. It seems it seems better already. It's not like a lot of lag, but it's it's noticeable. Anyways, um, we're going to continue on. But yeah, I've, I've, had it, um, I've had it on because... Ooh, this is a tricky one. Sprinkler's decent. I quite like Sprinkler. But honestly, the poop with their uh, petrified poop is probably better overall, which is a weird thing to be saying. Uh, the poop is actually an active I want to keep, but it is what it is. But yeah, anyways, I, I had Steam Overlay on because I've been like trying to um, optimize my FPS on Baldur's Gate because uh, my PC has been having some trouble running it, um, unfortunately. Uh, it's, it's not quite been as... Um, as smooth as I would have hoped, I think I need to uh, upgrade my PC. I th Honestly, I think I have a defective, like, GPU. There's something wrong with it. Basically, if my PC gets too hot, um, which happens a lot, uh, because my I I'm running an AMD machine, and AMD machines just seem to run really hot, um, it will just, like, blue, uh, like green screen. Like, my, my screen will just turn green, and then my PC will just turn off. Um, and it's, it's rather frustrating. Not great. Um, so, I need to get that sorted. Uh, probably go for one of these gold chests. I can't get either of those. Yeah, let's go for one of these. A bomb and a key. We got a key back at least. Just kind of hoping for another bomb back or an item. And we get sloth here, which could give a spider bite. I'd be very, very happy with spider bite here. Um, but yeah, I've been playing a ton of Baldur's Gate recently. I know I've been talking about it for the past few episodes. Oh, yes, baby. Uh, and I'm sure some of you couldn't give a flying nanny about it, um, which means I'm not going to stop talking about it because it's my YouTube channel and I'll do what I want. <laughs> I'm joking, but um, I am going to talk about it. <laughs> not joking about that, just because I'm slightly obsessed with the game right now. Uh, and it's it's taking literally every ounce of my being to not look up things on YouTube and Reddit. I don't know why I need to, but I just, I have this like need whenever I play a new game to like consume all of the content I possibly can based on the game. And I just want it to be a pure experience of me enjoying it. Um, so I'm just trying to avoid that at the moment. And it's it's tough. It's tough. Uh, and it kind of leads into the question of the day that I've got lined up for today. What's something that you have to stop yourself from doing? What's, what's something that like you kind of have to constantly sort of make sure that you're not doing? I feel like that's uh, some, something that everyone has one of. One like thing like that or multiple. Get good old boiler again with that extra planetarium chance. Love it. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, uh, I've been trying to have sort of my own pure experience, which is definitely been tricky. There's there's definitely quite a few things about D and D fifth edition and just D and D in general that I don't understand, and I've, it's been a learning experience. And some things have been kind of slow going. Also, I'm having some internal like drama with myself. Uh, oh, that didn't realize that thing hurt me. My bad. Um, I'm sort of having some internal... That was a really bad hit there, my god. I was trying to avoid this pool on the floor and just kind of walk right into that. Oh, well, we had a lot of soul hearts. Not that bad. Um, but yeah, uh, I've been having sort of this own, like, internal dilemma of, like, how to play the game. Because I noticed pretty early on that the game doesn't at all punish save scumming. Like, as in, like, if you... If you, like, fail, if, if you, like, start a battle and it, like, goes wrong, like, right away and you think, oh, shit, I should have done this instead. I should have started the battle like this. You can just reload the save and, and do it the way you, and, or, or, like, just thought about. Um, and same with, like, dialogue checks as well. Like, say you fail a dialogue check, you can. Oh, dude. This is a horrible, horrible room. I really, I really despise this room. This room is really gross. These foghorn enemies just absolutely cover the screen in shots. It's insane. Um, and, and yeah, like di like dialogue checks as well. Like sometimes you'll need to 
persuade and then roll a dice to see if you persuade them. And you can't if you if you roll badly, you can just reload the save and try again. And I've been trying my best to avoid save scumming. That's that's kind of what it's known as in gaming. If you haven't heard of the term before, I'm pretty sure most people have. But it's known as save scumming, where you reload save files to redo things. I'm trying to avoid save scumming just to make the game more enjoyable on myself. But I'm like. It's sometimes it's difficult not to want to like so for example I I walked into this cave and it was really dark and so I was like oh shit I'm gonna need some light in here realized I had a torch in one of my inventories so I was like cool I'll uh, equip my torch and I'll, I'll go venturing deeper into this cave I venture deeper into the cave with my torch well lit person with a torch in the front of the party making sure that they are guiding the way for everyone else turns out there was quite a lot of oil on the floor of that cave and I walked in and immediately just detonated most of the cave basically almost killing my entire party as well as damaging a few NPCs that were in the cave. I was like well that is not great. <laughs> um, so I was like I mean technically I should just take my punishment and live with my live with the consequences but I I reloaded the save and I'm like oh dude this is this is horrendous. I <laughs> I need keys, I need bombs, and the game is giving me neither. Um, and I was just like, what do I do here? Like, I feel like I have to reload because that went so horrendously wrong and has put me in such a poor position for if I need to fight slash if I want to be friends with these NPCs I've just come across. Um, so I was, I was kind of like, what the hell do I do here? So I ended up reloading and I kind of felt bad about it, but I don't know like where to draw the line on, on when it's okay to reload a save file. Obviously it's all arbitrary and it's it's rules that I'm imposing on myself. It's not like rules of the game. It's really up to my own interpretation, but it's it's kind of been a difficult path to find out in my own interpretation what I, what I deem to be okay. I've been restarting a few fights here and there as well when like I'll have this smart approach like, ooh, if I do this to start a fight, I'll have an advantage and it just doesn't work the way I thought it would in any way, shape or form. Those are pretty disappointing. So I, I've been I've been redoing a few of those to mainly like to, to help me win the fight, but also to help me learn how to better set up for future fights, kind of experimenting with things and seeing what I can do to like tip the scales in my favor, uh, so to say. Um, yes. It's a risk, but I think I'm willing to grab Guppy, just for the guppy chance. Unfortunately, we are missing out on an item room and those chests there, which is really horrible. Very, very annoyed about that. It is what it is. This has not been a great start to a run. I mean, I'm glad I just got this big damage up. Um, I think it's a guaranteed curse of every floor, but we get a pretty decent damage up. Um, you know what? I did that on purpose, by the way. It seemed risky, I realised, but I can now hop into here and see what's on offer. Doesn't matter. I don't know what's on offer. Okay, got pretty lucky. Got some. I was hoping for something that gave me HP. It gave me HP and a pretty hefty tears up, so Binky was probably one of the better items we could have got there. Second to probably, like, PJs, which wouldn't have given us stats, but would have given us a hell of a lot of deal with the devil power. Definitely noticing a few, like, the frame rate is still not amazing. I might I might have, like, one second. Let me just check my mods and see if I've still got, like, something enabled that I'm not meant to. No? Uh, maybe date updated? Anything update recently? No? Okay, maybe it's just, um, other programs I have open on, on my PC. Let's, let's try that, shall we? I, I apologize for doing this during an episode. It's not ideal, is it, but... Needs must. Right. See if that's any better. I did have a few programs open I shouldn't have, so... Oh god, I didn't realize you did that. But we are, we are doing a real good job of killing this guy. That was a nice swift kill. Die faster, my guy. Oh, oh, I, should, I should get that, because that turns our poop into the black poop. Okay, and we actually have a key now as well, so we can uh, take advantage of an item room, finally. Oh, dude, we are getting pennies galore. This is why I stuck with the poop, rather than taking the sprinkler. Always makes me feel a little bit better when I, like, have to leave an active, but then I got spider bite from the other room anyways. It's like, I'm just going to pretend I got spider bite from my item room, and that the uh, mini boss didn't exist, and then I feel better. <laughs> then I feel like I haven't missed out on an item room. 
That's how I choose to think about it. Lots of pennies. Shop is definitely viable here, so we'll uh, chip chop into that ship shop. Especially now we've got the money. Morbid Heart does nothing for us, sadly. Look, Penny as well. Lovely. I'll just take whatever we get here. That's unfortunately not ideal, um, but it does let us buy... Hmm. Well, first of all, let's take this and buy these. It's a bit of a waste, but I'm not going to keep this, so why not? Look down. Great. I, I think I have to keep Diplopia, especially while I'm going Devil Deal. Um, I think it's likely I get some good... Oh, dude, yeah, the frame rate is not so hot right now. Which is weird, because it's been really good for the past, like, few weeks. I think I had it in a really good spot. Maybe it's something to do with playing Blue Baby, although I highly doubt that. Range is nice, although I still hate the fact that it says plus two range and only gives you plus one. It's not even that I think plus one isn't enough. Plus one's fine. Just don't lie to me. Right. Well, I was just about to say what we got going on in here. We don't know. Oh, Cootie's actually amazing. Cootie is... Um, Familiar the champs, non-hostile boss with the most HP. Basically, whatever the most threatening enemy in the room is, that it will be charmed permanently. And it's retroactive as well, so like, once we start shooting at the enemy and it lowers HP, it changes to the next highest. It's, it's really nice. Having a permanently charmed enemy per room can save you some hassle. Secret room is looking likely to be here, and that'd let us get to our cash room as well, so... Um, I think we definitely go for tears up here. Go into our cash room real quick. Can't do anything with that guy, sadly. But we can destroy these poops for potentially some immoral hearts. There you go. Oh, yeah, black heart out of that as well. Not bad, not bad. Diplopia still sitting. I know Diplopia is one of those items that I end up never using because I've got too good to use syndrome. I will try my best to actually use it. Basically, at the minute, my idea is to use it on a devil deal that uh, I don't want to pay for. Or a devil deal where it'd be nice to have two of said item. That's my current plan. Good. I'm sure an opportunity will arise in due time. Luckily we're getting bosses that are going down fairly quickly here. I can't remember what the green version of this guy does to be honest. Oh, I'll tell you what. I've just finished eating my tea, and I may have started recording a bit too soon. I ate a Jalfrezi curry, and it's not quite sitting right. Larger. Don't know what that does. Speed down's horrible. Tears up. Okay, it was honestly, it was all worth it for a tears up. Um, we are going to try and do Mother, I think, because it's one of the bosses we've got left to do as Blue Baby. We could also do uh, Light Path as well, guess. Well, let's let's go for Mother, shall we? Um, I feel like it's been a little bit since we've done Mother, like four or five episodes. Let's give it a go. Right. Mirror Room's back over this way. Shouldn't have too hard a time going through all of this. I'll try and do a bo the Boss Room again as well, actually, because I feel like... That boss was pretty darn easy. And extra consumables and such. We got the extra bomb there. We needed to go to the uh, mine straight away, which is nice. What makes us larger again? Don't really think it's worth it for the stompy. The minute I'm just doing every room I can for the extra consumable chance. I think it's rather useful to go for that. Spectral here makes this guy a lot easier. Just careful for the little orange buggers that like fire at you like darts. Really anything other than that is fine for us. There, that's the one. I saw him, I saw him. Okay. Look Penny again, our luck is back, our luck is back. Beautiful. So many pennies to work with here as well. That was close. Um, pr 
probably better off with that now that we don't have um, the poo. I'm working our favour pretty heavily with... Uh... Oh, did we get a dime there? Or was that a ni nickel? I'm not sure if it's a nickel or a dime. Okay, this is regular, not champion this time. It's weird that it doesn't copy the exact boss. Sometimes it's like a champion version, sometimes it's not. Go and we get ourselves. Ah, this is the one that gives you a massive boost outside of combat. I love this as an item. Really, really nice. Scared the hell out of me then for a second, that did. Right. Out we go. So plenty of money to work with on the next floor as well. I ain't gonna be paying into you, sweet child of mine. Yeah. Huge speed boost outside of combat. I literally don't care what my speed is during combat as long as it's like above 0 0.75. Outside of combat is where I really care. So this item alleviates a lot of problems for me. Boom. Can actually turn these into proper poop uh, dip familiars now. I like that. Right. Curse of Rebirth, that's not amazing. Spelunker's hat is useful. Better than Scapula. Oh, there's this character Scapula's pretty good. Oh, dude, we got our first rune room. We got our first rune room. This is a new mod that I've had on for a little while now and not had a chance to show off. Um, it's really cool. I've, I've only got two keys, but I'm going to go for this anyways. So these are pretty interesting. This is Yera. Grants the contract from below effect. Um, unfortunately, it looks like I need more bombs. I don't... Let's, let's take a little look at the mod page, because I don't actually know how you activate the rune room. Enter the rune room, a cut type um, a cut type of room that planned from anti-birth and claim your reward. A new room type that has a 25% chance to replace vaults. Uh, to activate the room-wide effect, step on the four panels located throughout the room. Have I done it? It seems like I have. Okay, so maybe I don't need a bomb. I'm sure something happens if you bomb the crystal as well. I'm not exactly sure as to what that would be. But basically now, contract from below, the item is going to take effect for us. The muggers. Take this. In fact... Glass. Yeah, there you go. Pretty useful. Ooh, and there's a TNT in here as well. Okay, that didn't seem to do anything to it. I'll see if I get bombs. I'm sure it's going to be something that I have to bomb more than once, though. So I don't think it's going to be easy. But yeah, we, we should see that on room rewards, we get double rewards. Uh, like Contract from Below, which I'm, I'm really intrigued by. This The um, rune rooms are a really good idea. Similarly to uh, the tainted item rooms, I, I really like the idea behind them. Especially with them being double key rooms. I like the idea of more double key rooms. Th they should do more bomb door rooms as well. Oh, dude. Yeah, there you go. Look, that's cool. This. Um... Ah, it tells us in the top right, look, that we've got the Yera effect on. You see that next to my map? Really cool. Um... I'll, I'll open up one of these. I'm pretty disappointed, I'll be honest. Wow. Managed to bomb all of them in one go. <laughs> this is going really well so far. Wow, this room was made very easy by those bombs. Dude, the game gave me so many bombs back. Hell yes. Okay. Okay. Get him, cootie. Why not? It's free, innit? Careful of those, these little buggers. They are charmed. It does not mean they aren't a threat. Uh, sometimes it seems to charm more than one enemy at a time. I'm not exactly sure how that happens, but I'm certainly glad for it. I love how, like, common this thing triggers. It's kind of great. Oh, 
Little dips for me, thank you. Makes combat easier in a lot of aspects and allows us to like blow up rocks and stuff like that. Oh dude, the wrong enemies keep reviving, keep rebirthing. All good, all good. Curse of Rebirth is such a good curse. I, I, I really like it. I think that all the curses that are added by the curse collection, really, really top quality stuff. Dude, you're charmed. I don't know what's going on, but I can't. I can't goddamn hit you. Okay, there you go. We, we managed it in the end. Extra bombs. Well, I've got Spelunker's hat getting extra bombs is very, very okay with me. I am happy to see it. Oh, dude, he just absolutely destroyed that snake boy. I like to see that, too. Decreases your iframes when hit. Ooh, dude, that's kind of brutal. Oh, this is good, but not for now. I'm going to take it. I do have enough bombs now to potentially bomb the rune in the middle. Because I'm imagining it's three bombs, right? I'd, I'd think it's three. Three seems about right. Maybe it's only two. Not bad. Let's go do our boss and stuff first, because could be on for a, a devil deal, maybe. Not super likely. Yeah, some, sometimes the enemies stay charmed for a little bit after the cooter has done its thing. Kind of nice. Crate Gideon. Right. Ah! Ah! Yeah. Things are going pretty smoothly. Okay, these things are real annoying. Luckily, he did that sucky attack at, like, the, the best possible time for us. Ah, oh, that was a bad hit. It's fine. Last wave. He bombing everything. We got it, and we got Golem's Orb, which I'm pretty happy about. So we did a gulp sound effect at the end there. I'm not quite sure what that was about. But Golem's Orb is really good for us. Because that's two extra soul hearts. Right, let's go bomb this crystal and see what happens. I'm sure it's going to be something terrible for me. I'm sure it's going to, like, spawn a boss or, like, curse me for the rest of the run or something stupid. But I feel like I owe it to myself to give it a go. It, it might do nothing. It might do nothing. Ooh, what the hell? These rocks have become, like, Yera bags. That, that didn't do anything. Dude, this guy can hurt me? Fuck you. I thought he was my friend. Um, I'm gonna give it one more bomb. Doesn't seem to do anything to bomb it. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. It doesn't say anything about on the mod page about bombing it, does it? Uh, it does not, from what I can see. We'll see, though. We'll see. Maybe I don't have a powerful enough blast. I gotta get a gigabomb on it. Anyhow, let's keep it moving. Sadly, we did not get a devil deal here. It is what it is. Right, speeding and boosting along. Waste quite a lot of bombs, but... Honestly, got quite a lot of that floor, but yeah, I really, really like those rune rooms. Although, I will say one thing that's slightly annoying is the one that I got, the Yara uh, room. Of course, as you saw, is only effective if you get it early on, which luckily we did. But some of those you could end up getting as like the last room of the, of the floor and it'd be basically useless. Ooh, tears up. Oh wait, I'll let this guy poo out whatever he wants to poo out. Ah, spider. You bastard. Wasn't expecting that. Okay, I need another bomb. Oh, 
I'll take this pill. Hey, it's a health up. Hell yeah. I'm going to try something here. It's a little bit risky. I've got the speed to do it. Damn it. I can at least get the uh, the thingy, dude. Oh, no, I can't. I've only got, I only had one chance. Damn it. I only had one shot. Now, these guys scare me a little bit. Luckily, with them being charmed, I think I was saved from most of the pain. Good. Boom, bow. Wait. Um. Hold up. Hold up. Wait a minute. Hold up. Hold up. And claim your award. Um. It says unique floor-wide effect. Maybe? Okay, so... two. I've got two things here. Either it's bugged, and for some reason I still have the error effect, because I definitely got two keys there. Or, by floor-wide, it means both, like... So, I was on, um... Mines 1, and it also affects Mines 2. I was holding onto that bomb for way too long, then that was my bad. Like, that's maybe what I'm getting out of that, is that maybe, uh, it also affects mines too. So I got, I got two troll bombs there, look. Or it's bugged and I'm just gonna have this for the rest of my, uh, thingy, which would be quite nice, but kind of cheesy. Dude, you're meant to be charmed. Fuck off. Bee skin is pretty decent. Oh, dude, I am taking some real bad damage right now. And a health down? Oh my god, this is all... I was, like, my health looked so good, like, not that long ago. Like, the start of this floor, my health was looking fairly positive. I was feeling pretty good. Now, not so much. Okay, we've got the, the fire version of this guy. Not really doing all that much damage to him right now, which is concerning. Taking quite some time to kill him. What? I thought I was stood in the right spot. Maybe it moved? Oh, dude, okay. Maybe I won't be doing Mother then, because I don't think I have enough HP to go to Mausoleum here. Good item. Still no Devil Deal, though. Uh, Diplopia isn't, isn't really doing so hot right now. And the question is, do we go for the Mother win at low HP and risk our streak, or do we go the safe route and bin off Mother? What I'm hoping for, actually, is like a secret room full of soul hearts that I can diplopia. That would be a good way to go. Um, That doesn't really do anything for us, I don't think, but thank you. King of Diamonds, what do you do? Pretty good. It says it turns all rocks, converts some rocks. Okay, so if we have a room like absolutely full of rocks, we can use this. That's a tinted rock right there. Right. Just a speed up. It's really not that worthwhile to do this for just a speed up, I'll be honest. Right, let's get out of here.
I'm going to take the risk. I'm going to keep carry on the mother path. It's it's a huge, huge gamble here. But I have high hopes. I have high hopes that this run could go the distance. I, and I think we're just going to have to live with the fact that if we get any any more than one soul heart in our room, so if there's two or three, we have to deploy up here for the extra HP. I think we're just going to have to live with that fact. Yeah, it's definitely just affecting us permanently now, so I'm not quite sure what I did to break that, but... That's a little bit broken. Ain't gonna complain. Okay. Good. That was not very successful. Oh, God. Didn't get any keys back for that, which is kind of a big bummer. The slowing's very nice. I was hoping to get at least a key back for that, but sadly not. Just kind of exploded himself out of existence there. There you go. Some keys back. Lovely. Um, you are very tempting. You are very tempting. Plus. Quick. Pyro. I'm going to take Pyro. I don't actually think it's that good at this at this point, I'll be honest. Like, Pyro is good in general, but, like, we ain't getting much from it. Yeah, shop. Ooh, Cyst is pretty good. I'll take Cyst. Still not found a room that's absolutely full of rocks to use our um, King of Diamonds on. Hey, her, that's fine. Didn't mean to do that. Realistically, we need a room with a bunch of rocks and one of these grimaces. Ah, ah, ah! Okay, I'm immune to bombs, it's fine. The way that room was laid out was annoying me. Ah, shit. Hello, big boy. Zealot heart. I probably should have duplicated these. I've already picked them up now, though. Right, quickly go back. We've still not found... Oh, no, we have found an item room. A mega explosion there. Play the mammon, little dude. Speed. Not bad. This is decent, I think. Right, I'm still, still looking for like the perfect room for rocks because I'd rather use it this floor because I want to take that my mega explosion thing. Uh, tears, I think. Oh, we get birth. Of course we do. Not enough rocks in here. Fuck it, just use it in here. Can't be asked.
There was one of these Grimace things in here and I didn't even bloody use it. Okay. Get gone. Move it along now. See if we can use Diplopia at this floor. Grab that real quick. Might just need it. Not on this floor we won't, but later on we might. Haha, -ha, he tried to attach his little thing to the, the mask and he instead accidentally attached it to my bomb. Get wrecked. Did he revive the mask there? Okay, we're good. Mum's heal. Wow, wow, wow. See, now this is a situation where doing this makes a lot of sense. Well, it's in a slightly bad spot health-wise, but I think overall, pretty happy. And also, actually, speaking of health, we could go back and play the other beggar and hope for a HP up, which I think is reasonably likely. It'll either be a mapping item or a HP up. And it's normally a HP up. We should have more than enough to get him to pay out here. Yeah, there you go. A HP up, you see? I was hoping we'd get a double brimstone situation. Didn't think it'd happen, but lo and behold, people, lo and behold, it has shown itself to us and we have mega brimstone now. And also we have insane fire rate mega brimstone. Like, look how fast that charges. And it killed everything. This is looking very secret roomy to me and we have a ton of uh, bombs. Maybe not. I, I might have missed there. Let me try that again. Nope, I did not. I've got plenty of bombs. I don't mind. Oh, I see. I see. I see what's going on here. I also like bee skin with uh, this cataracts thing, leaving the tears just dangling about. Lovely. Good, good. All bombs are copper bombs. I think I'm okay. My thick brimstone lets hit all of those at once. It's pretty awesome. No bumbo for me. Ooh. Oh, okay. Unexpected synergy with this. Um, not sure how to feel about it. It's probably pretty good. But it's, it's very weird. Have we seen that? We've just seen that item room, haven't we? It's definitely weaker in some aspects because we don't have the range we used to have, but... I don't think we take either of these, I'll be honest. Our health's quite precious right now. We do this real quick. Just to see if there's anything amazing in here. I'm unsure how quad shot would work. But it intrigues me heavily.
it works pretty much as expected. It just creates four brimstones on top of one another. And that's pretty awesome. And we've still got really good fire rate for it as well. Just means we have to watch our rogue planet very carefully now. To see where it's chilling. But it does instantly kill pretty much anything. <laughs> this is such a wacky setup. I love it. I didn't even know Rogue Planet did this, like, with Brimstone. Never had it before. It's so stupid and wacky. Dude, this guy is, like, tanking it. What the hell? The Brimstone, it, like, lingers for so long as well. Like, I think I've got such fast fire rate that I can actually fire one brimstone before the next one even shows up. Uh, disappears, sorry. So technically, I could have a permanently up brimstone ball if I time it right. My bad. Oh, this is beautiful. I love this. Oh, okay. that is going to be a problem, though. I keep walking into enemies because the brimstone is so thick that I, I genuinely just can't see. That's a thick brimstone, boy. Beautiful. Good thing is, I'm going to say most enemies are literally dying as they spawn. I say most, not quite all, sadly. It's Golden Plum. Oh, Kingpin fucking t That boss, my god. Hey, we're well, one off Guppy now, that's kind of interesting. Something I wasn't expecting to see. Yeah, damage-wise, things are pretty stonking. Especially when we've got that uh, assist going on. I think our first Brimstone shot does, like, insane damage every room. Like, our first Brimstone ring has, like, 100 damage. Oh, wow. Did you just give me a shot speed increase? I can't believe how generous this game is sometimes. Um, scary. To be fair, I've got the Spelunkers hat, so it's it's a lot harder to go wrong ways. How did that not hit you, good sir? Like, I know that's a wrong way, so I can go this way instead. Pretty happy with my choice. It's so thick, reaches for so long. I just gotta make sure I don't walk into enemies as I'm trying to hit the enemies with it. That's literally such a big issue for me right now. It's the boss, lovely. We went the right way straight away. Yeah, the 100 damage thing from Sisk just insta-kills. Well, look at that, what the f Absolutely insta-kills. I still would like more health though, my health is still not great. That is nice. Two good items there, but I think we're much better off sticking with the HP. Heading down to the next floor. I'm feeling pretty confident right now. Feeling pretty confident. Having cast the Lost certainly does not help. I mean, no, it's not like it's going to make it harder to get through rooms or anything, but we, we had a pretty good system for how to find the boss pretty quickly, and the game took it away from us. What on earth hit me then? 
I would love to know. It must have been like one of these sort of things, throwing teeth at me or something. Oh, maybe it was a spider. Get out of here, surviving. What do you think you're doing? Okay, well, we found the boss pretty quick. Unfortunately, I did get hit twice on the way, so I lost both of those hearts. So getting into this, I'm not supremely confident. Oh, dude. Did you see how much damage that just did? That was my first shot, and I uh, I whiffed it because I, I had the goddamn orb in the, long, the wrong goddamn location. This is a lot of damage, though. This is very hard to see what's going on with this attack. Oh, this is this attack's bollocks for us right now. We're in a really bad spot. Honestly, as well, it doesn't help the frame rate. It's like negative two. Okay, there you go. Well, that was quick. Almost died just at the end there, but either way, we got it done. Hope you guys did enjoy this very interesting run. I'll see you guys in the next one.